Fall sports are now back in session. To get a better understanding of how things are going, we decided to ask athletes and coaches themselves. We give them um, time in class to work, um, about half an hour, and then, and then they do about an hour of uh, cardio. And then on their own, they're supposed to run. Um, we have tennis, so during six period, we just usually do our own cardio, like with everybody. We have our um, cameras on and like Cortez is usually leading the workout. For practicing tennis, um, it's usually like a social distance sport already. So like if we go on our own with like some um, other family member or just somebody from our team, it's like it's easy to play with because it's just one and one. Usually we meet up and we run as a group, but so right now since we can't do that, uh, the coach made us download this app and you log in and whenever you do a run, you record your run, he knows and he finds out if you're running or not. But like now since I'm at home, you know, my mom says I need help around the house. So sometimes I don't really get to exercise or uh, put that sport time in like every day as I used to. The athletes are doing an amazing job. We talked about this because, you know, they're motivated to work out. They want to, and it's all in the hopes that we might have a season. Athletic director Miss Treen produced a video and sent it out to athletes to get them to sign up for the fall season. This is what she had to say. So right now I'm looking at fall stuff. So football, water polo, cross country boys and girls, boys and girls volleyball. Those sports right now, if you are in one of those sports, you need to get your rear cleared as quickly as possible. The hope is that students use the website before October 15th and get their clearance soon. For GNN, this is Paula Ramos and Karen Rivas.